Bienvenidos a Opulent LG TV. Desde Tempo, Minnesota, directamente a Miami, Florida. Trayéndote todo el juego. Blessings, tribe. Now, last Thursday on Oscar De La Hoya's Clapback Thursday, he really doubled down on Edgar Belanca not being Puerto Rican. Let's hear what he had to say. Gets him for the first time since 2022. <laughs> Edgar Belanca, I called you out for not being Puerto Rican. I simply spoke the facts. So you got embarrassed and posted a 14-year-old photo of me that the world has already seen and memed a million times. Bro, why didn't you just post your birth certificate from Puerto Rico? Unless you don't have one. Don't tell me you're another lame who is offended by the truth. Come on, bro. <laughs> that boy Oscar is a funny dude, man. He's funny as hell. So, the question remains, is Edgar Belanga Puerto Rican? I mean, is he? The answer is yes and no. And before I explain this answer, um, I just want to give a disclaimer that just because my wife is Puerto Rican, that doesn't mean I'm an expert Puerto Rican. But something that transcends every culture, culture, again, something that transcends every culture is tribalism, Right? So first off, is Edgar Belanca Puerto Rican? Yes. His parents are both Puerto Rican. They just so happen, Edgar just so happens to have been raised in the Bronx, New York. And the other part of that is no. And this is where tribalism comes into play. A lot of Puerto Ricans, they will say because Edgar Belanga wasn't born on an island. They will say that he's not Puerto Rican. And this is something that I've experienced as far as hearing it heard from Puerto Ricans. And like I said, this transcends into just about every culture. Like for me, for instance, like a lot of y'all, my dad is Nigerian. A lot of people will tell me that I'm not Nigerian because I wasn't born in Nigeria. Or because my mom is American black, you know, slave black, they they will say, oh, well, you're only half Nigerian. So there's a lot of people who will, oh, you're not really Nigerian. So technically to a lot of Nigerians, they will look at me and be like, yo, man, you ain't Nigerian. Or they look at me less than. In the same sense of Edgar Belanga. He's Puerto Rican. Yes, both his parents are Puerto Rican. But <clears throat> since he wasn't born on an island, <laughs> like I said, I've heard this. You know, it's, 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 it's super lame. But, you know, a lot of people like to play these petty games of, oh, I'm better than you and type shit like that. You know how it goes. But this is just the reality. It's, like I said, it's tribalism. It's lame and it's... It's, it's damn near classism as well, you know what I'm saying? So this is type of games that they play. So a lot of cats from the island, they will say that Edgar, he's not Puerto Rican because he was raised in New York. He wasn't raised in the soil. And so that's that. Um, as we all know, as we all know that uh, Oscar was... Married to a Puerto Rican and even Oscar being a Mexican, he understands that this same tribalism exists within his own culture of being Mexican. A lot of Mexicans who were born on American soil, they're not really considered Mexican. <laughs> they're not. And by a lot of Mexicans, they're looked down upon. So this is something that something that. uh Oscar definitely understands he's being petty. He's being petty as can be. He's trying to get Oscar 
out of out of focus and basically to focus on them BS. I mean, a lot of people are already thinking that he has no chance in hell. But we're definitely going to see September 14th if he can stay refocused. Hopefully he does, but we definitely going to see. But uh, hop in my comments. Let me know how you feel about this whole situation. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for hitting my sub button. Thank you for hitting the like button on this video. It's the God Opulent LDTV reminding you that when you're in these streets, it's quality over quantity. And I'm gone.